instead of just brilliance. Because people think of brilliance as the brilliance of the mind, the brilliance of thinking. They don't think of it as something in its own. So to point to the fact that it is something independent of the thinking, it is its own, you know, we call it brilliancy. Because that way it is a self-existing noun. And, uh, and actually exploring then our presence this way in terms of its brilliant manifestation, we begin to understand intelligence, normal intelligence more completely. We understand what makes intelligence tell. We begin to see, because this quality has a sense of smoothness, so like the sensation of it, so smooth, so absolutely delicate. You can see that it can go through anything. Because it is so fine, it can go through any nerves. Like as, as it goes through the nerve, the synapses begin to fire much easily. Like they become connected much more uh, completely. So there is uh, the mind function much more efficiently. The whole nervous system begins to fire not only faster, but in a smoother, easier, uh, balanced way. And we recognize that when we explore this quality, we begin to see what intelligence means in a more specific way. We begin to see this quality when we experience it, we experience our sense as balanced. Like uh, nothing more of anything than the other. Everything is balanced and harmonious. You see? And we recognize intelligence has to do with uh, balance. When we also experience it, we recognize it is, has to do with uh, uh, beauty. It's, it's such an exquisite sight. It is true it's blinding for the normal eye, but to see it with the inner eye doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt the eye. It's not, like, it's not really a physical light. It is the brilliance of our spiritual nature, the brilliance of our spirit. We recognize that part of intelligence is economy, meaning efficiency in terms of time, in terms of energy, in terms of work, in terms of effort. It makes things happen easier, faster, and without too much effort. So part of it is economy, part of it is beauty, part of it is elegance. So in an intelligent solution, for instance, to a problem, tend to be more elegant than an intelligent solution, tend to be more beautiful than an unintelligent solution, tend to be more simple than an intelligent solution. That's why when we're feeling this sense of brilliance, we feel elegant, there's a sense of beauty, a sense of exquisiteness, and a sense of simplicity, and a sense of exquisite presence in the moment. There's a kind of preciousness to it that feels at the same time Beside being intoxicating and blissful, it feels very simple and balanced. But we recognize that the heart of the intelligence in terms of functioning, what allows the functioning, it, 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 it tells us something about this quality. I talked about how uh, all the, the through nature, the ground, the source, manifests all these differentiated qualities. It turns out this quality of brilliance is like all the colors are there but have become totally brilliant, totally intense. So it has all the qualities as one quality, as one manifestation, one explicit presence. So all the qualities are there, but their, their luminosity is so intense, so extreme, that it's just brilliance. And then we recognize, because of that, it has a sense of completeness. An intelligence action is a complete action. The more intelligent an action is, the more complete it is. Not only that, we recognize the sense in it has a sense of perfection. So we understand that the more intelligent our action or our approach, it means the more perfect it is. Perfect and more, the more it is what is exactly needed. The, the best, more efficient, more econo economical way. And 
because it is complete, and because it is perfect, because it has everything in it in an intense way, it affects our consciousness by giving it the capacity to synthesize, to see synthesis, to see integration. See this and this and this and that, and in a flash of lightning, you see the synthesis. What's the meaning of all of them in one picture? Because it is the inherent underlying unity of our consciousness that underlies our consciousness. So when we are exploring and researching something or exploring our own experience and we're seeing many elements, this element and that, one from the past, one from now, this reaction and this, and sometimes we, there are many of them. And sometimes we could think about them methodically, this and causes this, and this causes that, and this is connected with this, and because of this and that, these two are related. We could do that, finally we'll arrive at some kind of understanding or a picture. That's the usual methodical uh, functioning of consciousness. However, when there's more intelligence, you don't have to do all these steps. You just do a few, and suddenly you see the synthesis. Why? Because when this quality arises, it's like there's an intuitive recognition of how all of them are connected. And we suddenly just fee see the picture, which is, again, another functioning of intelligence. Like intelligence makes reasoning intelligent, but also can go beyond reasoning in the sense it begins to perceive and connect perceptions and synthesize perspectives and point of view and experiences in a, in, a, in a unity, in some kind of way that is very fast, very efficient, very effective, and sometimes appears miraculous. So, we recognize this with that we are more intelligent means we can respond to a situation integrating all our learning, all our capacities. The more we integrate our capacity, our learning, all the various, and we can integrate them all together in the approach in the, uh, to the situation and our functioning and our thinking and our problems. The more we can put all that together, the more there is intelligence. Because intelligence itself, the quality of intelligence, is a pure synthesis, the original unity. So it reveals unities. It shows us, like the light comes through and comes through the places that are connected. So you could see the design. It is difficult to see brilliance in the world. It's not a common sight. I mean, the visual sight of brilliance. You see, you might recognize some people are brilliant or intelligent or bright. So you notice the words that are used for intelligence, bright, brilliant. In many of those words, it has to do with light. The closest image I know of it in nature uh, Beside looking at the stars, which also have some color, is sometimes when you're looking in the water, clear water, like in the ocean or a river or a stream, and the sun shining through it, and there's slight movement. Sometimes you see as if there is pools of brilliance, like almost like drops, big drops of pure liquid that looks just pure brilliance. That's what the cover of the book is trying to show. You see? Like a liquid, delicate liquid, but a liquid of, not of a brilliant color, but of pure brilliance. So interesting what we come to, that spiritual realization can be very useful for everyday life. 